Fastest green screen tutorial ever. Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is drag our green screen footage down onto the timeline. So now we have our green screen clip. We go to the effects library over the top here, type in 3D, that gives us our 3D keyer. Drag that onto the footage. And once you've done that, you wanna hit this drop down box here in the viewer and hit open effects overlay. If you don't do this, you will not see the effect we are doing. Anyway, do that. Head on over to the inspector here for the clip that you would put the 3D keyer on, hit effects with that selected click in the green, done. You can then go to the media pool, bring in something you wanna put behind the footage, drag this clip up onto the second layer so you can put something beneath it, and there you go. Quick and dirty green screen effect. So that's the fast way to do it, it's not perfect, uh, but what do you do if your green screen footage just isn't as clean as what we just used? Well, we're gonna jump into how I like to do it with more difficult footage, and also the workflow I like to follow. So let's jump back into Fusion. So what we are going to do is grab our footage, drag it down onto the timeline here, and we're gonna to wanna to trim this. So we're just gonna trim it from here, perfect. And then with the clip selected, we're gonna go over to Fusion. Now we have our nodes, and what we're gonna do is with the media in selected, go shift space, and we're gonna type in delta. Add the delta keyer, and with the delta keyer over here in the inspector, just grab this little eye picker tool, click and drag onto the green, and there you go. You kind of have the majority of the key done already. But as you can kind of see, we can see the shadow here from the folds in the green screen. We're gonna to wanna to clean that up. To do that, we're gonna go over to the matte, change the view mode from final result to matte. This gives us a black and white representation of what we're looking at. White is opaque, black is transparent. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. All we're gonna do is mess with the threshold slider. If you bring the low in, that's gonna bring your blacks in a bunch. So bring that in as much as you can. Then we're gonna bring the other side in, that's gonna bring your whites or your opaque, bring that up a bunch as well, until you have this nice clear image. As you can see, everything that needs to be black is black, and then I am white. We can now change that view mode from matte to final result, and you can see you have me there, and it's nice and transparent, perfect. But what about this weird stuff on the side here? We need to create a mask to get rid of that. Nice and easy, we're gonna drag a polygon, drag that down here, and we are just going to create a polygon over the bit over here, and it hasn't done anything. What we're gonna do is drag the output of that polygon into this gray one here, the garbage map input. You can check that by hovering over that and checking this bottom left here, and drag that in. Give it a sec, you can see it disappears. What we're gonna do is drag another polygon in. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Boop, done. And just connect that to the in, this bit on the other polygon. All sorted. Now you've got me on this background. We can bring in a bit of an image, image, drag it in, and it goes right there. Kind of looks weird. What we're gonna do is select the merge node, hit Command or Control T to swap the inputs around, and you've got this weird thing here. That's because we just put the vertical image behind, not a problem. Select the image here, Shift Space, go Resize. That's just gonna put it back into a 1080p. And then after that, we can add a Transform node. That's going to allow us to scale the image up, and we are done. If you want, you can add a little bit of a color correction so we can move this media over here. After the delta key, hit shift space, type in color. We go to color corrector, add that in, and it's a quite a bluey scene, so we can literally just move the master into the blue. Then we have our scene, nice and easy.